Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So now I will show you the technique how to answer about trigonometry. We need to find the value of sine 2 theta, cosine 2 theta, tan 2 theta. And the last one, which quadrant does the angle 2 theta lie? So now I will show you the answer. We know that's quadrant number 3. That should be about size theta. Should be about negative. Cosine theta should be about negative. So we have size theta equals to negative 7 over negative 7 over 25. So, we have the formula in here. Side theta square plus cosine theta square equals to number 1. So, we want to find cosine theta. That should be about the square root of number 1 minus side theta square we and we have the negative in here because cosine theta should be in the negative so we put this one go in here and we got about negative 24 over 25 now let's go to side 2 theta that should be about 2 side theta cosine theta and we put the number in here side theta that's about negative 7 over 24 Cosine theta, that's it about this one. And we got about 336 over 625. Now let's go cosine 2 theta. We got about 2 cosine theta square minus number 1 so we put 2 multiply with this one and we have the power 2 in here and we got about 527 over 625 and the last one we have tan 2 theta tan 2 theta that should be about side 2 theta divide cosine 2 theta so we book this one divide this one And we got the final answer. So the last one, which quadrant does the does the angle two theta lie? So if we look carefully about side two theta, cosine two theta, and tan two theta. And you can see that they are on positive number. If you got about sine, cosine, and tan, they are positive together. That means that should be about quadrant number one. That's it, the end. Thank you for watching.